Hello everybody and welcome back to the A-Side. I am your host, Riley. And Bring Me the Horizon, one of my favorite metal bands, as you can tell. Sun Paternal being one of my favorite metal albums of all time. Just put out a new song called Die For You. For, um, and I have no idea what to expect. Uh, in 2019, they put out two of their most pop and EDM leaning records ever. Um, and then all of a sudden took a left turn straight into new metal on their 2020 EP. So I have no idea what to expect from this track. But today we're going to be reacting to Die For You. Uh, so I really like Bermuda Horizon, if you can't tell. That's the Spirit. Uh, and, or Semper Eternal and That's the Spirit are both great records. Um, I really enjoy post-human survival horror. Although I didn't like it at first, I have come to really like it now. And I feel like that's a microcosm about how I feel about Bring Me the Horizon. The first couple of times I heard them, I listened to That's the Spirit. I thought it was boring. Um, I didn't like this band, but they just kind of grew on me over time, especially after hearing Semp Eternal. I was like, wow, Semp Eternal is amazing. And then kind of going back through their earlier work, Count Your Blessing and Suicide Season, um, are just some hard-ass records. I absolutely love them. Even as someone who's not a huge metalhead, um, I don't like Amo that much. I have a lot of problems with it. I don't like the Music to Dance 2 EP. Um, and I think uh, There's a Hell is a little boring. But besides that, I like a lot of their discography. Like I said, their first two records. Uh, I listen to Count Your Blessings and Suicide Season and both really enjoy them. And then, of course, Sound Eternal and That's the Spirit and Post Human are all like, great albums. So I'm excited to see where this is, what this is going to go. I have no idea stylistically where it is. But before we get started, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you're new around here, why don't you uh, just take a look and subscribe. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't want to. Um, so let's just get right into it. Die for you. Oh, also, the one thing I've heard about the song is that I heard that Anthony Fantano is going to hate it. So whatever that means. Okay, sounding a little glitchy. This is sound, sounding a little more Amo-y right off the bat immediately with the kind of electronics. Um, it's very much more Amo-y. And I know that they were, they're now mostly releasing like EPs and stuff. And they're going to try and explore different musical routes. Um, so I don't know what to expect, but it's sounding a more EDM-y. Oh lord. Oh boy. Uh, all these vocals sound terrible here. They're very poorly spoken, sang. Not, not necessarily just the pronunciation of them really set me off. And I don't like the production on the vocals whatsoever. There's some kind of like effect or something going on. The song is super, super poppy sounding immediately and that's not necessarily a problem i don't always mind poppiness like i think the closing track uh i believe it's called oh no on that spirit that's a really poppy song but i love it and i think some of the poppiest tracks are the best tracks on ama like uh, uh rx i think it's called where they just um or medicate medicine Medicine. It's called Medicine. Uh, I don't listen to it that much. I think that's one of the best tracks in the album because they just stop pussyfooting around it and go straight for pop and it works. But here, I just don't like the production and how it's sounding. Especially following up songs like Teardrops. These melodies are sounding very... Um, cliched and overdone. Uh, very unoriginal. -na 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 -na. -na -na -na. Um, and his vocal performance just sounds like so many other pop songs I've heard. Yeah. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Interesting! Oh, now it sounds cool! These electronics are really cool sounding. This is weird. The weird glitchy vocals. It completely just changed how I felt about it in that explosion because suddenly the production went from shit to really cool and the screaming over the electronics is almost like not quite crunk core, but 
really interesting. I like how it sounds. I like the screaming over these kind of weird EDM y, not, not quite dubstep y, but almost their vocal uh, synthesizers. It's cool sounding for sure. Definitely new. <laughs> I don't like this chorus. First listen, of course, but... The lyrics, you know, that I would die for, you know, that I would cry for, they're not that original, and I don't like... I don't like the melodies going on, and I don't like the... It just sounds so unoriginal and so overdone. Yeah, I don't like this chorus. This is definitely... I like the screaming. It's a meld of different sounds and ideas, some of which I think work, some of which I don't think work. Yeah, this chorus just is not working for me. It's kind of annoying, actually. And I think it would otherwise be a really solid song if it wasn't for this chorus. Because it just sounds... overdone and cliched and something I feel like anyone could do. Something I've heard a million times in public or at, like, dances or just, like... This isn't love, this is a car crash, this isn't love, it's a bloodbath. That's a cool lyric. This, this isn't love, this is a car crash. This is actually a really cool lyric, I think. I like that. I don't know. I feel like this drop... This drop is okay. It's fine. This is a weird mix of sounds and influences. strange for a multitude of reasons it really felt like it was mixing like the more kind of metally stuff they're known for a lot of the screaming and heavy guitars were here but also with that like top 40 pop chorus and then edm electronics and then that guitar solo sounded almost like van halen-y a little bit is the vibe i got from maybe i'm way off but that's a weird kind of structure not necessarily structure, but melding of sounds and influences. Not all of it worked, but a lot of it did. I don't know. I hated the chorus, and I think it really dragged down the song. I don't know how I felt about that drop in guitar solo, but I liked the screaming. The opening, like, little poppy part was really bad, but when the screaming came in uh, and the electronics, I thought that was all really cool, and I think the chorus really drags the song down. So there are parts I like, but as the whole well-oiled machine, I think certain parts are kind of failing. Um, definitely an okay song, and I'm interested to see where this song is going to go fleshed out more. The sound is going to be on like an EP or a record, whatever ends up coming. I I'm interested to see where this sound goes and develops to, whether it will end up working out or crashing and burning, because this song isn't really giving me much pull one way or the other whether this is going to work or not. Um, it kind of sucks that the chorus isn't very good because that's kind of what I feel like Bring Me The Horizon is really good at. I mean, just take a look at last year. I mean, I'm running out of teardrops, let it hurt till it stops, or uh, it's a parasite, Eve. Um, got a feeling in the stomach because they know that it's coming for you. So many other choruses are really good. I mean, go look back at Sam Paternal. That entire album is, is filled with huge anthemic choruses. Uh, 
You know, we came like moths from a flame. You live like a house in a hurricane. That's kind of my favorite part of what Bring Me the Horizon does. So hearing them fall so flat on the chorus here is a disappointment. But overall, I think the song is, is interesting. Um, and I'm glad they're experimenting. And I do think it's working better than a lot of what they did on like Ama or the Songs to Dance to EP. Uh, so this more electronic direction works a lot better here than Moments Over There, I think. So yeah, I guess that kind of sums up my thoughts. It's going to be interesting to hear where this goes and what this develops into. And maybe it'll grow on me, bring me the horizon a lot of times their stuff doesn't necessarily click at first. Um, and will later kind of grow a bit more. Uh, except for Semper Eternal. That thing clicked the first time I heard it. If you've never listened to Semper Eternal, go listen to it. But yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm feeling on this track. I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite Bring Me the Horizon song is. I think my vote is either for Drown or Empire Let Them Sing or Teardrops. One of those three. Uh, although there are a lot of good Bring Me the Horizon songs. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Stay safe, boys.